Well, when it comes to track and field, sometimes the field part is taken for granted, but not for Cooley Region athletes. News 19's Colton Emsweiler tells us how some area athletes wore out a path to the podium. State track is in the books. While most eyes were peeled to the track, there's plenty of hardware to be won in the field events. Many in the Cooley Region glad to represent, especially as they cap off long and successful careers. Yeah, um, just to represent your school um, in positive ways is, is always a great thing. And um, being here last year, being here this year, being at the Cole Center twice um, is something that you know you can never take for granted. So um, yeah, just really great to, to represent your school um, in a good way and just come out here on a nice day and, and do my best. Some athletes in the area not only did their best, they became the best. A handful of championships are staying local, with many of their loved ones able to make the short drive to watch them compete. All feels great. It's always nice to bring another one back. All that means everything. Um, just seeing my family there it makes me happy, and uh, just being here, it's nice to sleep in my own bed. <laughs> and every athlete's goal is to take home the gold, but some have ulterior motives, such as trying to get their 15 minutes of fame or achieving athletic immortality. So last year. When we got the packets there was in the back like a list of people who have won multiple championships and I just remember thinking like I kind of wanted my name there so I just had that in the back of my mind like I want my name in the paper. So. Whether it's a first or second time champion their names will go down in the Wisconsin State Track history books forever. For News 19 Sports I'm Colton Emsweiler. All right, thanks, Colton. Sam Crenshaw won the state title in the Division Three pole vault. Westby's Erin Gluck won her second high jump title as well, and Central's Bennett Freed took third in the Division One long jump.